What's up guys, it's Kyle again with DTOM and Knives and Gear and today we are going to be taking a look at a classic knife that I have never had. The Openel, this one being the number 9. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. Okay, well, I received this knife in the Going Gear EDC subscription box uh, this last month and uh, was kind of excited because this knife has definitely been uh, around for a while and a lot of people hate them and a lot of people hate uh, a lot of people hate them and a lot of people love them so I wanted to see what my thoughts were this one they make them in quite a few different sizes and they do that by numbers this is the number nine and so yeah let's kind of get into it this is a uh, nail nick knife no half stop slip joint but it does have this really cool collar that twists around and locks the knife from at least closing on your finger doesn't lock it open or anything like that but uh yeah i i kind of dig that because um you know i i guess i'm more afraid of traditional slip joints uh you know if you're doing any hard work uh, you know, there's always a fear of that closing on your, on your hand if you're not very, very careful. And I'm so used to locking knives that I'm not used to being that careful, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, um, you know, pretty cool design. This thing is, uh, definitely not a EDC fidget, you know, friendly, hard use folder that you usually see on this channel. Um, uh, but, uh, I wanted to give it a go. So the Open L is a French company, French made knife. Uh, oui, 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 oui. So mon chali, yo ho. Uh, I don't know any French. Um, that I don't care to either. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, uh, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty cool looking, I would say. These, uh, are beechwood handles, which are very, very light. This thing only weighs like, two ounces and it is has an overall length of like 8.15 so it's not a small knife at all um and with two ounces that's pretty damn good um you know it does not have any kind of a pocket clip or anything like that so you just kind of throw this in your pocket or bag or whatever you choose to carry this in um but yeah so this one they make a couple of different variations this one has the high carbon steel so uh this one will keep an edge pretty good while i was very disappointed actually this one i i did strop and get it off but this one came with a gnarly burr on one side like just crazy it's like they didn't finish sharpening it and so i was kind of disappointed about that uh way to go french uh <laughs> but uh I, you know i stropped it to get that burr off but it's still not uh it's still not exactly where it needs to be for a brand new knife i mean i'm rubbing it down and i can actually feel some chips it still cuts uh because it's really thin i mean it's only got like a seventy-five thousand stick blade stock and it's a full flat grind so it comes down to like ten thousandths behind the edge so this thing could be an absolute beast of a slicer but it was very disappointing that it came out of the box like that um so yeah not not exactly excited about that but i did get that burr off there at least for the most part, doing some stropping, and then I can just feel just little bitty nicks uh, in that blade. So yeah, not not the greatest, but it does still cut, and uh, it is very very lightweight. Let's go ahead and put it up against some of the only other traditional style knives that I have. This is the Savivi Rustic Gent, uh, which is actually one of my favorites. This is a lockback, so it's not a full traditional like a slip joint or anything. But I really love this. Uh, this one also does not have a pocket clip. But the reason the lander is on this is because I use the little pouch it comes with to slip in my pocket that does have a pocket clip. So that does work for me. The lanyard does make it easier for me to get it in and out. The other uh, traditional that I have, this one is a true traditional with a half stop. This is the... Uh, Tucson TS-123, uh, which is also a, you know, relatively big uh, slip joint. But as you can see, still the open L just kind of towers over it as far as size. So it is a full-size knife. The one thing the Tucson does have for uh, going on for it is it does have a pocket clip. So that is really, really nice. This one happens to be titanium and copper. So really, really nice from uh, Tucson. 
So <clears throat> size wise, it's definitely my size. Uh, it, the, you know, the roundness of this handle is very ergonomic. You know, it kind of swoops down right here to where my fingers, you know, it doesn't want to slip off or anything. So ergonomically feels really good. Now this is definitely not a hard use knife, uh, but for regular EDC task or camp chores or stuff like that, I believe this thing, uh, would work quite well. Um, it does have a three and a half inch blade and the handle length closed this is like 4.65. So well, like I said, for those kind of dimensions and a two ounce knife, that's, that's pretty damn good. Uh, you know, this one, I would, I, I tried to just throw it in my pocket. Um, but I didn't like it just stored in my pocket, uh, kind of going around because I do, I have a bunch of other stuff that I carry on a daily basis. So the fact that this doesn't have a pouch or a pocket clip, uh, this is definitely something that I would throw in a bag, uh, kind of a, maybe as a backup knife or something like that, because, uh, yeah, high carbon steel, you know, you could definitely get some good sparks off of this thing from a fire steel, stuff like that. Uh, the fact that it does have a lock. Yeah. So, you know, definitely not really my cup of tea, but I def, I do see how people like these because th this thing's like 16 bucks. So yeah, I mean, it's cheap, but it's got, you know, decent steel. The construction seems to be good. If they would have actually took a little bit more time on the blade out of the factory, uh, then this knife would have been a pretty good win. But the fact that they didn't just kind of disappoints the hell out of me. But, but anyways, this is kind of a quick overview of the uh, open L number nine. It's just, there's not much to say about it. It is a good knife. I know why people buy them. They're cheap. Uh, I, I would probably classify this as a, a cheap disposable knife that I can throw a bunch of these in different bags to have a cutting tool on me, uh, in, in different bags and different situations in the truck, in the office, stuff like that, that, uh, you're not gonna, it's not gonna break the bank for you to lose or break, but, uh, definitely a good choice for that. Um, but yeah, that's the open L number nine. Uh, it's kind of mixed feelings, <laughs> but a quick little overview of this guy. I appreciate you stopping by and checking it out. Uh, let me know if you have, if you guys have any of these, what your stories are. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Am I missing something? Uh, you know, cause I'm, I'm not perfect and I'm definitely not the old know-it-all of this community at all. <laughs> So I would really love to hear some of the stories that you guys have with these knives. Do you like them? Do you like the number nine size? Do you like the other sizes? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know. I love you all. Stay safe in this crazy world that we are living in. And we will see you in the next one.